I didn't get an opportunity at what's name? Well, at NC State, things didn't shake out for me. Uh, just, uh, I knew Fred from a while ago because he coached my freshman year. And uh, just got the opportunity, so took it. How, How early you? are you getting in every day? Matt said the other day you get in pretty much before the coaches do to start breaking down film. Oh, I can't, I can't reveal my secrets. <laughs> I can't reveal my secrets, then everybody else be getting in. <laughs> but you, I, are, you are an early riser, I guess. Yeah, I, yeah, I, don't, mind getting, I don't mind getting up early. Uh, I know all the, like all the good guys do it. Like uh, J uh, Jacoby Reset was a mentor to me. He always told me to be the first one, first one in, last one out. So I always took that to heart, and that's something I, I've always applied in my life. Do you feel like you're picking up the offense pretty well? Mm-hmm. Uh, I th like I think it's coming along real well. Um, picking up, picking up on it a lot. Still getting to learn guys, uh, learn how everybody plays and meshing together and stuff. So I think it's all coming together pretty good. How yeah. different is it? Uh, the biggest difference I say is this heat. <laughs> the heat. Uh, but uh, besides that, um, it, I, I don't think it was that much of a difference. Uh, in the day, it's just football. So I'll just tell you that. How so different is the system? Uh, I, I think it's more of a pro style system. Uh, knowing Coach Rule's background and the coaching staff's background, they all they up, they have all been in some sort of NFL uh, team. So I think it's a more of a uh, NFL style uh, offense. But besides that, it's not too, too not too tough to pick up on. The terminology, the terminology. Coach uh, Thomas was talking about how you just have different words or different things, but you've done some of that. Yeah. How much is that like learning a new language, or what? How do you explain? Yeah, it, it is like learning a new language. You learn the English, then you got to learn French or there or Italian. <laughs> so, uh, but I mean, it's it's all pretty much the same place. It's different terminology. For you, out. how much did it help having Frisman here, and, and was that you know maybe that wasn't the only thing, but just knowing him and being coached by him before. I mean, I mean, that definitely made me more comfortable. Um, but once uh, I got to talk with Coach Nixon, Coach Rule, uh, Coach Thompson a little bit more, uh, Coach Ransom, uh, like it, it really didn't make a difference who I talked to. They all made me feel comfortable here. You've been admitted into the Truett Seminary? Right? Yes, sir. Uh, do you want to be a pastor? Is that your uh, Well, I, I, I got my undergrad in uh, communications. So I, I want to be a sports broadcaster. Oh. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but um, I, if that doesn't work out, then I think uh, I could I could end up being a team chaplain. Well, I want to be a college quarterback too. So let's. Just <laughs> <try>. <laughs> did they did they tell you a plan how much you would play during games or certain situations that that they'd put you in there? Um, I, right as of right now, it, like we were competing for it, uh, and that's all I know. You had to ask uh, how do you, Coach Rule. How do you think it's gone so far? I think it's going real good. Things going really good. Everybody, everybody's learning. Everybody's doing good, and we're all just trying to achieve our team goal, which is just winning. Jalen, there's a lot of people that that now transfer quarterbacks, especially seeing this. It's like almost every school has one. Mm -hmm. What's that like to make that decision and kind of know it's going to be a change? Graduate, get that done, but be able to pick and choose. Is, is to be in that position? What that's like? What was that like? Um, I, it definitely was a, a tough decision I had to make, but I had to make it um, to do what's best for me. But I don't, I don't think it was that tough. It, it's really just like getting recruited out of high school again. You get to choose wherever you want to go or whatever. But I'm, I'm older now, so I don't like guys usually get caught up in like the scenery, mm -hmm. the stadium, you know, like seeing everything. But uh, me, for me, it was just more of the football, like the football aspect, which, which I was going to be the best for me. Have you made a connection with any of the receivers yet in terms of like, yeah, I really like his patterns and stuff? Oh, yeah, all, all the receivers. They, it's a good, a real good group, a really good group. Mm -hmm. uh, you got Denzel, you got Platt, you got Hurd, and those like those are the guys who everybody knows about. Everybody that know about RJ, everybody that know about uh, Fleeks, everybody that know about Gleason, like all those like younger guys, and even the older guys like Jay Ray, he's coming along good, like all of them. I, like it's a good group overall, so like I like all of them. Looking back, all of them. Looking back at your time at NC State, was it just not getting an opportunity? Was there something that you felt like didn't go right, or was it just not getting your opportunity? Uh, no, nah, I, I want to say that. I, would, I mean, to uh, Ryan Finley, a good, a good quarterback. I mean, we right. both good. Right. But, like we competed all the way going into the first game, uh, my junior year, I think. Yeah, my junior year, and uh, we even competed last year, or something. So. 
Uh, he, I mean, he's just a good quarterback. Uh, I mean, he ended up winning it. Uh, it was a good job with him. He got uh, many awards coming, or like on many watch lists or whatever. And I, I hope he get them. Cause I mean, he's still like I'm still cool with him. Still, still my guy. Still cheer him on no matter what. Uh, Cause that quarterback room is something special to me. But uh, I think I just think he he's ended up uh, doing so, a little a little bit of things better than I did during camp. And he ended up winning. Can you, you compare? He, you hope he gets them or you get them? Uh, the awards? Yeah. So he he's on the watch list, but he's on the watch list. I hope he'll get them, but <laughs> shoot, if he don't get them, I'll I for sure get them. Was there a moment after, you know, maybe the first practice, first team get together where you had, a, you know, a feeling like, wow, I, I made the right choice coming to Baylor? Yeah. Uh, once, it, it was really after after our visit, uh, like my first visit, like I, I just felt like it was the right place. Like it just, it's just. You know that feel you used to get sent, like you made the right choice. No, it was just, it was just that feeling. What's it like coming in and com competing against guys that are that are so much younger than you? You know, freshmen coming in and a sophomore. What's it like, uh, you know, competing against them? I mean, I, I think I have a little bit more knowledge, but I try to I try to give everybody that same not like the knowledge that I know and give it to them. So I don't, I don't try to like. I mean, obviously I like have or I wouldn't say have the advantage, but like I have more knowledge than those guys. I just try passing on to them. Like Charlie Geary, like I mean, they they play some games and stuff. Like, oh well, Geary hasn't, but Charlie's played some games, so he knows some stuff too. But I try to teach him as much as I know, so they can, so they can get better. Can you compare the Last receiving one. talent here to what you threw to at NC State? NC, see, NC State got a good group too. Uh -huh. Kevin Harmon, uh, Steph Lewis, Jacoby Myers, and like all the all the young guys they had come in. Uh, and it's it's a few more guys I can't, I can't think of the top of my head, but I don't, like I don't really like to compare, but uh, I, I I like this group here.